bunny down there. There's a bunny right there above my finger. It's been sitting there for about 20 minutes. Early morning bunny. Yeah, I can't get you up here. <laughs> get a little bunny down there. Love little bunny. He's sitting over there. Alright. Time for coffee. Yeah. We're heading to the sawmill and then we'll run into this fella. Mr. Jason Voorhees. Got some of my Halloween decor out. Oh yeah. Some pumpkins. Pumpkins. Skeleton with some blood candle. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that candle. It's a pumpkin candle. Spice candle. There's my pumpkin. Oh, Mr. Pump. Mr. Mr. Hollow Pump. All right, let's head to the sawmill. Just gonna go through here, show some of the classic Lumen Ghouls. Lumen Ghouls. Lots of cool stuff. If you're looking for a place to come for a costume, definitely consider this place. They got a lot of stuff, and. Uh, some classic masks too. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's huge. He's humongous. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Beetlejuice? No, he wasn't a clown. Classic Halloween H2O mask with the authentic hair up there. Oh my god. Halloween kills coming. You get a Halloween 4 mask. Pretty authentic Halloween 4 mask. They also have the Halloween Kills mask right there. It's about $80. Ooh, those, those are pretty creepy too, but look at that Halloween Kills mask. Authentic Trick or Treat Studios mask. You also get cheaper knockoffs with knife. With knife and even cheaper knockoffs. Really cheap Halloween 2 one. But if you wanna go the extra mile, you can pay 80 bucks and get that authentic. Halloween Kills mask, or even a Halloween H2O mask right there. Cool. You could be all kinds of things. They got a variety of costumes. You could even be some fireball or a bud. Lots of cool things in here. Love those Myers masks. Get your skites. All kinds of things for the kids. Just before we head out to the sawmill, I figure I'd show you a couple scenes at this store. Goatee's gonna be messed, heading into the sawmill. We'll hit you back once we're done the lineup, then we'll get some food. All right, let's get our spook on. And here we go, heading in. First hand 
look at this song. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. Uh, I get one walk through. Let's check it out. Scary. I got a guy in a rocking chair. Well now, oh, it is. it's not quite often we get to see so many visitors in these here pots. Let me buy, let me buy. Family's gonna be mighty happy to Heck see all y'all. Been getting kind of hungry the past little while. Why don't y'all just oh, no. come on in? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> oh my god, look at this room. <laughs> this room is narrow. more enjoyable for you. Please save us. Save us. Blood. Blood everywhere. Okay, there's two openings here. Oh my God, there's two openings. I don't even know where I'm going. Unlevel footing. Which way do I go? Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh jeez, she's bloody. What do you have in your hand? Oh god. Oh god, let me through, let me through. Ha! Oh jeez. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, ah! oh my god, it's too dark. What the heck is that? A potato? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's body parts. Oh my god, look at this. Did you do this? Time to die! Oh, I don't want to end up like this guy. Please no. Kill you. Please no. And Please it's gonna no. Hurt. You're in my world now! I know that. Oh my god. Oh, wow, these are pigs! Which way? Which way? I see nothing. Which way? Oh god, it's so dark. That guy was scary. Woo! Hello? Hello? Down here? Oh god, who's that? I can't tell if this guy's real or not. He's just laying down here. Keep him Oh my god, Jesus! You got oh my god! This friggin' cold. Oh my god! Just looking at that head! Is that, is, that, is, that, is that a pee stain or is that blood? Oh my god! Oh, oh, there's a hand in this guy. Oh, jeez. There's a hand here. Hand. There's a hand and a bunch of things. Oh, we made it into the saw part. Oh, my God. There's stuff everywhere. Here we go. I smell gas. 
Oh, they're doing it. Is it that way? I'm supposed to tell me. enjoyed that walkthrough of the sawmill right there that was pretty good that was pretty good what do we got here what's in your hand what are you reaching for i, I don't trust you what are you reaching for oh, oh geez oh he's lighting a fire an axe on fire what are you gonna do with that sir Don't light yourself on fire, friend. <laughs> that looks grim. Look at that. Do a trick. See you trick around with that. Here he goes. Oh my Nelly. All right. Fire whip. This is cool. The Saunders Film Sawmill. Oh my goodness, look what he's doing over there. Whoa. Just whipped out that fire. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. This guy knows how to handle the flame. Good job. <laughs> Time to try out the Saunders so Farm beer, Cider. Like, Flying canoe. And then Hard cider. Right. The pop. Hope my goatee ain't the too messed up like, from the mask the wearing. But. All right. Let's try this Saunders Cider and uh, see what we're talking about here. Yes. Enjoy Ontario. Let's see how these taste. Did you get a cider? No. I got a hell of a hot water. It's pretty good. It tastes more like beer. Like that was a pretty good sawmill. I enjoyed the sawmill. Scary. They should have that as part of the official Saunders farm. Cool. Flying canoe hard cider. Hard cider. Premium Ontario craft. New to Saunders farm. It's good. I didn't get to try this at the farm, so. Yeah. You like this one? Yeah. That's good. Kinds of stuff. We're going to get some food in a bit. Maybe walk to the top of that hill. Check out these LEDs. He's going to do his whip trick again. Stand back, folks. Stand back. Woo! Come on, he whipped it good. Whipped it good. Outside of Lansdowne Park, you will find the Saunders Film Sawmill. Saunders Farm Sawmill. Sorry about that. Right here. The Ottawa 67s just play over here. That TD place. They're sitting by the fire. Enjoying some flying canoe cider. What's up? I went. 
concession stands. We'll see what they have to offer in a bit. Beaver tails. Even over here. Matt, come take a load off. Enjoy some cider right in here. More fallish. Horror like than beer barrels. Do they got beer in them or not? Oh, it, those are supposed to be for bowling, I thought. Oh, no, 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 those are juggling pins, aren't they? So you don't use them for bowling. Oh, he knows how to, he knows how to handle it. Look at that. Give me some technique. Oh, yeah. That's skill and talent all rolled into one. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh, that, that's gonna make it into the video for sure. All right, this gentleman is a very close and old friend of mine. We've been buddies since we were about 11 years old. This is Dave. And Johnny, what's going on? Yeah, this is Dave. Johnny. <laughs> and he is basically the man behind the creative process, many of which for Saunders Farm, including uh, what, the shambles, we got, I mean, we got the shambles. We got the haunted hayride, the part of terror. You used to uh, do the chainsaw on the hayride I mean, back when I, was, when I worked. When I was a song. kid, yeah, when I was a kid, uh, you would did run the saw. Did. Yeah, so, you did the saw. Did the saw. Yeah, I mean, it's like the rite of passage. You know, it's like once you run the saw uh, and you sprint 150 meters for like seven hours straight. <laughs> then you get to do what you want to. You get to promote. Because <laughs> yeah. then I remember one year you're in the haunted walk dressed as a mummy. I think so. I remember yeah. spotting you. Yeah, that was before. That was now, which is now the Coven. The Coven, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. That was so. really good. Those actors are awesome. Yeah, we. Well, yeah, I think it was like back then. It was like the Field of Screams. I think was the right. The yeah, I do remember that. Now. Yeah. So yeah, this is my 20th year working with the farm. So it's uh, you know it all blends together at some point. So now we're we've taken it. He's taken it. He's taken it. And we've taken it off the farm. And we're at the sawmill. So he's behind the creative process. This is the man right here behind the creative process of both at Saunders Farm and now here we're off the farm at the sawmill. This is a new kind of venture for Saunders. Yeah, so our attitude was like, we really have three problems at the at the farm itself. Um, number one, oh, we got other problems too, but like three main things. So number one, you know, pre-COVID on, on a peak night, we'd have 5,000 people on site and it was kind of like hitting real true max capacity, even, even by our standards. Oh, and okay. so, you know, now you've got like this, like this ceiling that you can't, you know, go beyond that. Right. Um, number two, like we're in Munster, it's 40 minutes from downtown. Yeah, um, we were talking about this earlier. This is easier for people from downtown and stuff than to yeah, get out well, to Munster. Yeah, no, and there's no bus going to Munster, so no. <laughs> public transit distance. So we're like, we got to solve that problem. And then a lot of our customers, like, you know, we don't draw a lot from the eastern part of Ottawa. Um, again, because of distance. So we're like, well, for all these three reasons, we're like, imagine if we could just create like almost like a like a franchise, if you will, and put it, you know, right downtown here at Lansdowne. And uh, the team at Auto Sports and Entertainment Group was like basically like the second we pitched the idea, they were like, we're in, and, oh, and here we are. Yeah, it's been three. It's been That's awesome. so uh, you know these plans have been like nine years in the making, and then like three years of like active planning to make this happen. We got shut down last year with COVID, so you that's know. what it was. I heard you mentioning that on Facebook, and I wasn't yeah. sure what that was, but I'm glad it's going on this year. Here yeah, we man. are, sawmill. It's friggin' good, man. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah. Well, it was really good, man. I friggin' enjoyed that sawmill big time. I wish it was a little longer, but that's just because you can't scare me enough. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the nice thing, it's like it's a, literally a modular built haunt, right? It's it's all in shipping containers. There's awesome. there's 10 of them right now. You want it longer? Well, next year we'll do 15. And <laughs> do it. Do it longer. Do yeah. it longer. I want more behind the scenes, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime, man. This is the man here, and he's from Munster, right where Saunders Farm resides. And now he's working down here at Lansdowne. Oh, that. And if it catches your fancy, you can also get a beaver tail. All kinds of types there. I think they pretty much have beaver tails at every single attraction I cover. So, it's your chance. If you're hungry and you got a sweet tooth, beaver tail never fails. You cannot fail with a beaver tail. Look at this gentleman. He's not gonna fail. He's eating a beaver tail. Beaver tails never fails. All right, 
I think I'm gonna go with a pie face. That's the pumpkin pie hard cider. You can also get tricky treat candy apple. I'm having the flying canoe right now. And then there's sawtooth. Yeah. Very sawmillish. Okay, I'm gonna go with the pumpkin pie this time. Pumpkin pie. Pie faced. Pie faced it is. Check it. Getting pie faced. That's right. Eat, drink, and be scary. Look at that. Variety is the spice of life. Then pumpkin spice is definitely the spice of fall. Oh, from jack-o'-lanterns to lattes. We just can't seem to get enough of it. That's true. That's why I went with pie-faced pumpkin pie cider for this next one. Finishing off my flying canoe. And I'm down this pie face and I'll let you know what that's like. This is good. Cheers. Cheers. We're not getting shit-faced, we're getting pie-faced. Saunders Farm Solder. People got some uh, photo ops going on over here. Thank you. you know, it's the sawmill. We've experienced the sawmill. I'll take a photo where they sawmill. Check it out. Just a photo op. I'm gonna take a photo. Just gonna say, hey. Get some Saunders cider, everybody. It's good stuff. Just a photo op spot. Everyone's having a good time. Saunders Farm Sawmill. Honestly. How's that beaver tail? Delicious. Just as I expected. Sugary and delicious. The that, classic. That's a regular. That's a classic. That's a classic. You can get it covered in chocolate or in nuts. You can get s'more beaver tails. They had a lot at Upper Canada Village, but you gotta go with the classic. You can't get you can't go wrong with the classic. You can't go wrong with a classic. We'll get his rating in a bit. Cause I'm going with the famous Philly Chi. We're not in Philadelphia, but Mr. Skelly, Mr. Skelly says try the Phil Philly cheese. You get some peppers, onions, Swiss. All right. Philly cheese steak coming up. Coming up. Got some Michael Jackson going on here. Sorry about the goatee. I'm gonna have us that Philly cheese steak. I'm getting a little tipsy. I'm pie faced. Pie faced. Let's check out this Philly cheese steak, shall we? Check that out. Philly cheese steak. Peppers. The steak. They got the sizzle. Can you see me? Where am I? I'm behind this cheesesteak. Look at that. Oh yeah, they got the sizzle. Mmm. Oh yeah. Navin. Look for this truck. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, food truck. We're not in Philadelphia. That's some Michael Jackson going on. Look at this. Steak's about to fall steak fell. It's some good stuff. I gotta put it back together. As I was uh, saying to him, a proper sorry, a proper Philly cheesesteak will have onions. You get some pepper, some peppers, a little bit of onion too. That steak is where it's at though. You want to have that sauce blend in with your steak and your onions. And cheese, please. And cheese, right. I can, I can taste that cheese as well. But for authentic, you got to get cheese, please. Sorry if some of the lighting isn't... We're at a haunted farm. There isn't much lighting to work with. I'm going to tell you, though. It's Philly cheese steak. This is Ottawa cheese steak. A sawmill cheese steak. I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10. I don't know if I'm just starving or what, but pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. And then they had the haunted walk, which was really weak. But then they changed that and they added. It's a little tart. It's like a tart in a can. This tastes like pumpkin pie. It's a little alcohol. And you can't taste the alcohol. It's too sweet. Too sweet. It's sweet and spicy. I don't know about spicy. It's uh, it's pumpkin-y. It's 
It's definitely pumpkin. -y. It seems a little weird to chase the Philly cheesesteak with a pumpkin pie cider, but when in Rome, right? For what it was, that $9 sandwich. Shout out, Navin. You make a good Philly cheesesteak. Hit up that truck. Hit up that Navin food truck. Good stuff. Even if you're coming down here to the sawmill, go with the Philly cheesesteak or the beaver tail. My brother says the beaver tails to die for. It's like LED lights as far as the eye can see. All the way down there and all the way down there. I think Mr. Thrash has got a little buzz. We're having fun down here at the sawmill. Remember to like, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned, more Halloween action to come. And once we get out of the Halloween season, I'll be covering some different things. There's some stuff I'm gonna let everybody know about that's going on in my life. So stay tuned for that. I want you all to know, especially my subscribers who have been there since the beginning. Check out these LED lights. They start off, look, look there's a little opening here. It starts right there, all the way over. It's like some sort of museum. Look at this LED screen. This is friggin' futuristic. Look at this. There's nothing better than enjoying a pumpkin pie cider in October and checking out some LEDs. Well, I guess Ottawa has far from nothing. We may not be able to compare to the US, but we got a few cool things here and there. We got the Saunders Sawmill. Looking down at that, you wouldn't be able to tell that that's a sawmill. Look at this beautiful, beautiful setup. It's not open. This is simply just, looks like Las Vegas, but just here. Just ending a good night here at the sawmill. It was a great night. Thank you for coming in. Like and subscribe. Thank you for coming along with us. Mr. Thrasher got a little buzzy on. So, just thought I'd end here because hell, this looks cool even though it's not open. Get your wax and treatments here. Reminds me of that movie. That thing you do. Let it burn. Let it burn all night. Tell the kid to shut up. Oh yeah, I'll shut off the lights before I close the store. Now it's burning all night. Lights are on, but no one's home. Can't shut off.